Hey guys, so today we are going to show you uh, some of our favorite products uh, currently. Um, I previously showed this palette on a, a video, the Sephora haul, the mini Sephora haul, but as you can kind of see, since some of these colors are uh, pretty beat up, I've been reaching for this palette almost every single time that I go to, to do an eye look. I really truly have loved this palette so much. Um, I, I think my, I really love this, the nude shade up here, nudie, um, Tickle Me, that shimmer shade. And so I would highly, highly recommend you guys buying uh, this palette. Um, we swatched a couple of those for you in the last video, so if you would like to check those out, go ahead and check out that mini Sephora haul. But um, I would highly recommend uh, buying that uh, eyeshadow palette. So this here is a pore clearing face scrub by Formula 1006. Um, this, you guys, is only about $7 at Ulta, and it works so well. When I clean my face with this in the shower, you can see the difference right away on my nose and on my chin, which are my problem areas. Uh, I get blackheads there. You can kind of see little whiteheads as well, and this really, really works. And after I remove my makeup, you guys, this always makes me feel like I'm actually getting everything off of my face. So, uh, not only is it really affordable, but it really works, you guys. So I would highly recommend that. I am using that almost every day in the shower. The next product has also been featured in our uh, mini Sephora haul. It is the Benefit Roller Lash in the shade Black. This is my go-to mascara. It makes your lashes look so long. I don't really wear falsies, you guys. I'm not really that great at applying them. And this makes my eyelashes look great. The wand is easy to use, it's comfortable. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this product to you guys. It is the only mascara that I use right now. The next product is going to be the Stila Magnificent Metals. Um, this one, what is that shade name there? That one is Smoldering Satin. Now, I have only been able to get my hands on this one um, in the store. They are beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you here. Wow. It's like blinding almost. Yeah, I, it's so pretty, you guys, and um, and long lasting. When I put this on my eyelid, it lasts the whole day, and um, it is just beautiful. So now I am going to show you guys the Tarte Unicorn brushes. Um, these brushes, as you can see, they're a little bit used now, they are so soft, they work great, and they're just really a cute set to have in your collection if you're a collector. Um, I find myself reaching for these brushes now, and they're just really cute, you guys. Like, they're really soft, they work really well, and like I said, if you're just a collector and you want a cool piece in your makeup collection, that's these are the brushes to have. They're just, I just love them. They're <laughs> really cute. <laughs> Okay, and my current favorite, which was in another video um, because I had to rebuy it, was the Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, pencil. I'm in the color Soft Brown. This is my go-to, you guys, to fill in my brows. I know Benefit has um, some products out now that are really popular, um, but I just can't get myself to not buy and rebuy the Brow Wiz. I think it's I think it's the best brow pencil out there, you guys. So I would highly, highly recommend it. It's worth the money. Um, you get the spoolie on one end and the product on the other. So I would always recommend to buy the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reach for my main colors that I've been uh, going for in the past couple of months. Um, we have Jeffree Star Androgyny. 
Uh, next to that, we have the Jeffree Star Manny MUA collab in the shade Daddy. Um, and then next to that, we have the Kim Kardashian West Kylie Cosmetics collab in the shade Kimberly. And then we have the Tardis uh, lip paint in the shade Bling. So I want to just swatch these for you uh, really quickly so you can see them. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you. This one is Androgyny. I just find when I'm like reaching for lipsticks, these are the ones I keep going for time and time again. Um, and so these are my current favorite shades. Um, I'm, I'm really a neutrals girl, if you can't tell from the, the eyeshadows that I, that I love and the lipsticks that I love. I just really love a good nude, a good neutral color. Um, so that one is Daddy. Then here is Kimberly. And last is going to be that Tarte one. The Tarte lip paints I'm starting to really love. I only have a few shades of those, but they are a really great formula. When I wear them, I don't feel them on my lips. They're not drying. So I'm definitely going to be investing in some more of those. And those are my go-to shades right now. Um, these are the shades that I'm kind of reaching for the most. And with the exception of the Kim Kardashian West collab, which is this one, they are all dry down matte liquid lipstick formulas. And then that's Kylie's um, cream lipstick formula. So that one does not dry down. So next up we have the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Um, I do not, let's see what shade I, I am in this. So it says L11 Neutral. Um, I, I am not a big fan of, or I, I shouldn't say I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm not typically uh, one to go in and highlight with concealer um, and, and contour and do all of that. I, I don't know how to do that that well and I feel like I'm just not that great at it but with this concealer I go in underneath my foundation to spot conceal I do have a little bit of adult acne um, and so this works really great and with a good moisturizer underneath it I never ever uh, feel it drying up it never looks dry it never looks cakey at all and sometimes when I really want to just have um, a little bit of extra confidence but not do a full face I just go in with a little bit of concealer and a little bit of tinted moisturizer and that's my look for the day and it looks great and it lasts the whole day so currently this is the concealer that I'm going for so next up we have the Too Faced uh, Hangover Face Primer. Um, I'm actually almost done with this tube and I will be repurchasing it. If you have dry skin, you guys, this is silicone free and it has coconut water in it. It smells amazing and it really hydrates your skin and, and provides a really good base for underneath your foundation so that you don't look cakey and you don't see uh, dry flakes of skin, you guys. So that is my current favorite primer and I will be repurchasing it for sure when it's, when it's done. Next up, we have my favorite highlight. Of course, it's by Jeffree Star. If you guys can't tell, I'm obsessed with him um, and all of his products, but they're great products. He really puts a lot of time and effort, you can see, into the products that he puts out. This is the shade Peach Goddess. It is my favorite. I think this is why I like the Manny collab so much, because it was kind of a lighter version of this. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys as well. So I'll take a little bit on my finger, and then... Put that on there of course with my light you probably can't see that very well but it's I mean it's a blinding highlight you guys I think it, everyone has seen these highlights enough to know that they're amazing that they work really great and I put them on sometimes a shadow definitely on my brow bone and in, in inner corner um, these highlights are just everything and, and that is my favorite one that he has by far very creamy too yeah they're I mean they go on so smooth and they're just pretty so unfortunately with my light you probably can't see it as well as it looks in person but I mean you can 
you can see it there. It's, it's just beautiful. So that's my favorite highlight at the moment and from Jeffrey's line. So now we're going to um, talk about this palette. It is for your cheeks. Um, so it's the Benefit Cheek Parade. And in it, it has a couple of things in there. It has the bronzer, the famous Hula bronzer, which I love, you guys. I'm just kind of getting comfortable with um, applying bronzer and doing a little bit of a contour here and there. So that is definitely my go-to. I actually mix uh, the both of them and it's perfect for my skin tone. I'm kind of an olive -y skin tone. Um, and then here, this blush has been my go-to almost every single time. It's beautiful, it's subtle, it's not too heavy on the face. Um, it, it, it is, as long as you don't apply it too much, I mean, then you'll have just flushed pink cheeks, but it's beautiful, you guys. And that one is called Dandelion. And then it has those other two shades, California and Rockateur. So this has been kind of my go-to um, now that I'm getting a little bit more comfortable using bronzer and things like that. So it's just really pretty and I would I would highly recommend it. It's worth the money. You get a lot of product. I believe it's about $50 or $55 at Ulta is where I got it and um, it's just been kind of my go-to go-to. So next up i'm gonna actually talk about uh, two hair products so this is the sample size of this product because i actually just tried this for the first time recently i got it in an in an ipsy bag um, this is the mark anthony deep repair aloe vera and jasmine um, it's a deep repairing conditioning treatment and i used it uh let's see after actually after the first time um, I used it and my curls, I have naturally thick and curly hair, you guys, they curled so beautifully, straight out of the shower, no cream, no nothing, they just naturally dried beautifully. And if you're someone like me with naturally curly thick hair and you kind of over color and over straighten as most of us do, um, this will really, really work. So I will be going to purchase this. I've used it a couple of times now. And once the sample is done, I will be purchasing it. And you guys, I looked it up online. It says it's available at Ulta, but I couldn't find it on their website. So I don't know um, if it's still available there, but I looked it up online and found it for about nine bucks, you guys, for the big size. So um, it's not expensive and it really, really works. So I would highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have thick curly hair. And then my last product that we're going to talk about here is going to be this uh, product by Cantu. It's coconut curling cream. I, like I mentioned before, have really thick hair, curly hair, um, and when I was in junior high I and in high school, I was that girl that just put mousse and hairspray and gel all at once in my hair to try to tame the frizziness and tame the flyaways and make my curls more pronounced. And it just fried my hair, dried out my hair, and made my hair crispy, you guys. And this, I apply a little bit after a shower and my curls just naturally curl beautifully, no frizz, and it really defines your curls. So I would highly, highly recommend this for anyone who has uh, just naturally thick curly hair uh, like I do. And if you see on the back there, it actually says it's free of a lot of kind of those bad things. So no oils or the mineral oils, no sulfates, parabens, silicones, things like that. So it's, it's, it's also really good for you. Um, and it smells amazing, you guys. I'm obsessed with anything coconut smelling, so that smells absolutely amazing. So those were my current favorites, things that I've been reaching for constantly, things that I have been loving uh, lately, and I'm really glad that you guys chose to watch our video today. I'm uh, Hopefully you guys will subscribe and uh, like like it if you if you enjoyed the video. All right, bye.